Artificial intelligence is all around us and can have significant impact on business. But are countries like South Africa adopting these technologies fast enough? We'll look at that and more this week in the Marketplace. to Marketplace Africa, we cover the biggest economic trends impacting the continent. This week, we're focusing on the impact of artificial intelligence in Africa. Whether you're doing a web search with Google or asking Siri for directions in an iPhone or even getting movie recommendations on Netflix, you're probably using AI every single day in your personal life. And in the business world, let me tell you, AI certainly means big money potential. In fact, Market intelligence firm Tractica predicts global revenue from AI software will grow from $1.4 billion in 2016 to almost $60 billion, $60 billion by the year 2025. And with that much growth potential, countries like South Africa are realizing they need to get smarter about artificial intelligence very, very soon. Here's Arlene Jokos with more. I am Romo, Accenture's most interesting employee. And what do you do exactly? I try to take over the world. Just kidding. <laughs> Big ambitions for a little guy, but Romo the robot is onto something. Artificial intelligence, known as AI, is disrupting business, and Romo is helping companies adopt AI solutions in Africa. So, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is a collection of advanced technologies that allows machines to sense, comprehend, act and learn. In the studio, global consultancy company Accenture invites businesses to interact with new technologies. Oh my God, this guy's coming closer. Hi. <laughs> From 3D printers to virtual reality, businesses are learning about innovative technologies that could transform their companies. So we invite our clients here and they ask themselves the question, what if I can use a 3D printer, this is a 3D printer, to be able to print a prototype of a mold that I can use in healthcare? Rose Phillips, Managing Director for Accenture Consulting in Africa, says while many countries around the world are riding the AI wave, Africa needs to catch up. We still have high unemployment, so we're not seeing the economic potential of artificial intelligence. According to Accenture, artificial intelligence could add 1% to South Africa's GDP by 2035, with output hitting 4.5%. One company making its mark globally is Aerobotics. It's a data-focused drone company with AI at the core of its business. We built a platform called Aeroview, which allows drone data to be um, processed and really runs um, machine learning algorithms that provide analytics to farmers to, to show problem areas on the farm. CEO James Patterson and COO Andrew Burdock say in three years, the company acquired more than 100 clients in 11 countries around the world, including the United States, Russia and Australia. And they estimate their AI system can offer farmers a 10% increase in yields by analyzing drone images. There's so much data out there uh, that we just weren't collecting and issues developing on the farm that have such a big impact on your yield at the end of the season were going unnoticed. It's not just business that has global AI aspirations. The University of Johannesburg wants to become an educational AI hub in Africa. We have the largest concentration of uh, people with PhDs in artificial intelligence. Just uh, academic staff, we're talking about uh, 10 academic staff members. We are the leading center of artificial intelligence in this continent. The university also brought in Professor Quin Guo Wang from China to help students learn AI business solutions. Medium, small enterprise important and they have limited resource, especially they're short of technology. They cannot do AI work by themselves. They are short of funding. Professor Wang and AI student Adeola Ogunleye came up with this. It's face recognition, but for bottles. If you put it in front of the camera like this, so it will detect it as bush meal. A stockkeeper doesn't really need to manually go and take stock. When a stock is running out, you can send a message to maybe the phone or the computer of the stockkeeper. 
we take several photos of the bottle and we drain it. This can be very useful for businessmen like Rayo Lesus, who has partnered with the project. If you're running any, in fact, inventory system, retail inventory system, especially a bar, which is quite a hard environment to work in, you've got all these drinks and uh, you want to know what's been drunk at the end of the night. And this is where it gets really interesting, is that you could actually train a machine to do this. It's not that a human's going to lose their job. The human's going to do something that's more human. For some, the fear is that AI will take much-needed jobs away from people as companies opt for automation. But Romo believes he isn't a threat. Is artificial intelligence really a mean, lean, job-stealing machine? Not exactly. The technology complements humans and is taking on more sophisticated roles within technology interfaces. People-centric jobs could very well be the casualties as AI rises, or it could just make our lives easier. The outcome of the so-called fourth industrial revolution will only be clear once AI is in full swing globally. Eleni Jarkos, CNN, Johannesburg. All right, as you just saw there, artificial intelligence can really create new opportunities for startups in Africa, but they also need funding. And the man I'm going to introduce you to next created a company to do just that. Don't go away.